Hey everyone, this is the White HD here, and today I'm bringing the second episode of League Ladder. And here we start off uh, the episode by changing out Chupo Moting because he scored five goals, so he's the first one to get upgraded in the series. For the big man himself, I'm at six foot four, four star skills, four star weak, for eighty pace, eighty two dribbling, seventy seven shot, and seventy two heading, and he cost me nine hundred points. Complete bargain. I'm gonna come up against this Brazilian four two three one team slightly. A bit of a skill team, I guess, and he gets off to a very good start there with a cracking half volley from Ronaldinho. However, however, I counter quickly and with some very good control there of S Wine takes out the keeper and finishes it into the open net. However, on a free kick where where it tugged the uh, person's shirt on the counter, Ronaldinho scores from an impossible angle, which I have no idea if I could ever score. However, near post OP to the max of Abasi, making it uh, two two. And he outheads Aogo there with Fabinho, making it 3-2. And then in the 90th minute, I score in a corner with Gentner, making me extremely happy. And then in the 90th minute again, I score a header from a cross with s -Fan. So if that was me, I know I'd be so, 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 so mad. And I guess I just EA'd him. And then we come up against a nice, very pacey, very strong um, Premier League 4-3-3. However, this guy, all he did was just contain, contain, contain which allows me to do something like that which is just practically use a burba spin and then get tons of space and just score however he gets a bit of a weak penalty i don't know what i really did there but however his penalty and he finished sends me the wrong way however arnautovic misses the first shot and gets makaidi claude makaidi i think gets his first shot of the um, first goal of the series and then arnautovic with a uh, nice control and then a really really nice Ronaldo shot to get in and finish it in the far corner. And then in the 83rd minute, uh, S. Van gets his fifth goal of the series, I'm pretty sure, with a nice outside foot finish, and that's how the game uh, finishes 4 2. And as you see there, S. Van has scored five goals for us at the club, and Arnautovic is the only really good 76 rated striker in the Bundesliga since the Vieta gets Schieber, 78 pace. Uh, 73 passing, 76 shooting, something similar. He is really bad at so so. And oh, and then we come up against the. Um, I'll talk about him later. But we come up against the full Man United squad, who did win secure the title for the Barclays Premier League yesterday with a hat trick from Robin Van Persie. So I think it was uh, deserved of them. They've been really solid and. I'm not a Man United fan, however I have to admit that uh, this season they've been the best team so far. And then he gets a penalty there in the 7th minute and he scores it to make it 4-1 and then a cracking volley from Robin Van Persie and a bit of a scissor kick. And then from a corner, I just don't know, Robin Van Persie, I will say one thing, he's a good player, he shoots very well, he's great at finishing, great at dribbling, but he can't head to save his life and then he wins it. And then I come up against a really really strange bronze star pack team I think. And this was just, it was a perfect opportunity for me to just get all my rage away from that defeat that I got beforehand where I lost 6-1. And Arnautovic there runs loose in a corner and makes it 2-0 for me. And then I break free in the 27th minute and I could have scored with Arnautovic but I really, with the series it's you know getting 5 goals, 3 goals. So I really just wanted to get as many goals as possible to Shiba so I could get him out of my squad. And then we come up against a mainly non-rare side again. Uh, on our BPL side, it looks almost as if the guy was doing a similar series to minus and or a similar idea because he was updating the strikers which tend to score the most goals. And then Gufran with a really, really, really nice shot from outside the box. And then I pick up a penalty, I'm not really sure how that was a penalty. I walked backwards into his player who's lying there on the ground, but I felt it was time to get rid of my left back, so I took the penalty with him instead. And as you see, almost straight from kickoff. I uh, send it through to Macchiadi who shows good pace and a solid finish from him as well. And then Niedermeyer gets completely free in the box in the 45th minute to score 3-1 and then a pass across goal to give it to Schieber so more goals for him which I'm really happy with to make it 4-1 and then in the 45th minute again from kickoff I was just pounding and pounding him at this time. Caliguri scores uh, 5-1 and there you see he rage quits in the 45th minute which I was okay with, but I don't know, I was happy with. And then, uh, so, three players have reached their limit, which we have to swap. The first one is Caliguri, who was switching out for Husky. Caliguri was so, so good for me, I really enjoyed him. 
who who's, who has seventy eight pace and some of the first us girls grief that week, but he's okay. And then we have Awoga who we swap out for the only seventy six rated player in um the Bundesliga, which is seventy six rated left back in the Bundesliga, which is um Pander, who is extremely oh here we go and we see who's the stat. So he's got good pace, solid shooting, solid dribbling and good passing. And he was the best left mid, he was seventy six rated. Then we have Pander who has seventy in all stats. And he was six foot one. He also has very, very, very good long shots and is very good at crossing. And then we switch out the beast himself, Niedermeyer, for David Abraham. But if you've enjoyed the, this episode, please subscribe, like it, and another episode will be out soon. But apart from that, uh, peace out, guys.